Hello everyone, welcome to GW Pro Trading. It's Gwen Michael here, and I'm about to do a market update on Euro AUD. If you're new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and also smash on the notification bell on this channel so you'll be getting all the information whenever I post content such as this one. Alright, today in this video, I'm going to be doing a market update on Euro AUD. I did post a last session I did on Euro AUD. And we looked at um, a couple of things which also I did during my pre market analysis and also share with you um, some setup which I look to see okay, with Euro AUD. So, um, in today, I'm going to just be doing a market update and then share with you also what I expect to see. Okay, so what I was looking at here, right here, is that I was looking at the possibility that we could have completed just maybe an A right here. Okay. And I looked at the possibility that we could have completed a B. Okay. okay so, for a flat pattern. And this here was um, one of the setup which I was looking at that we could have been completing a C right here. Okay, so we did complete an A, B right here, and a C right here. Okay, so I did speak about this whole territory right here in a yellow background, which I talked about that it's a big liquidity zone. So what I'm gonna be looking at here is over the before the trading week, okay. I pointed out when price was in this territory here that if we have a break hurriedly below this territory here that we could be looking at this as an invalidation okay so overall what we had here instead we had price rally to the upside creating a confirmation here right here and then pulling back into retesting previous areas there which it has retested before okay so um one thing that i looked at here is i i looked at here as overall what we could be looking at okay so i took um up here the fibonacci retracement of this swing right around in this territory here and also Right around from this lows right here to this high right here and i looked at the 61.8 fibonacci retracement inside of this area and i could also identify that price have broken just below the 38.2 fibonacci retracement of this swing okay so this is the retracement territory here which we've seen and price have also bounced off the 50 percent fibonacci retracement of that structure okay so what i'm going to be looking at here is i'm going to be working out a possibility that we could be having price then continue upside okay or probably continue downside so i'm going to be working out with two plans okay so what we have here is that over the course of the trading day which is on tuesday we heard that price was trading inside of what we could identify as a downward structure okay so whatever this is okay so which it's not complete so we could also be having a situation that price could also be contracted in some format such as this one and we could be working out an A, maybe a B right here, maybe a C right here and we could work out a scenario that price could just might have been done here and then start a new wave to the upside. Okay, so what I'm going to be looking at is if price would start a new wave to the upside, I want to be seeing price take out key environments. I want to be seeing price take out structural levels. Okay, so I'm going to put it up um, a structural level right here and I want to see the H4 candle close above this structure. Okay, so once I have the H4 candle close above this structure here, this is going to confirm for me a breakout. Okay, so I'm going to have to either take a long trade from this point right on or wait for a little bit of pullback, then I could take a long trade. Okay, so with that, my stop loss is going to be here below the structure. And I'm going to have to target the extreme first, which is also previously inside of this territory, which we had our very first extreme. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that for the whole of the week. Then for the next target, I'm going to be looking for the next target, which I'm also going to be sharing with you the next one. <clears throat> For the next target here, I'm going to also have to target the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement of this swing, okay? So this swing right around here is what I'm looking at to target from the swing high right here to the swing low right here. So I'm going to have to target the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement of that swing, okay? So um, it's actually just way a little bit upside of what we had before. So I'm just going to have to just shift a little bit and just a little bit. And then I'll go up to testing the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement of that swing. Okay, so that um, that would give me um, a very good target. Okay, so um, let's look at what it is. <clears throat> okay, and with that, we could as well be looking at um, possibly for a TP1. Okay, 120 pips. Okay, we could look for a TP2, 220 pips. Okay, so our risk would be down here. You're going to be 73 pips. Well, so say just maybe just maybe just a little bit of bigger room. Some of the six, some of the seven pips. Okay, so that's good for me. All right. And I'm looking to do that. See you next time. Subscribe, like, and also share with friends. That's the best thank you. And it also helps in the creation of more videos such as this one. 
See you in the next one.